What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. And I already messed up. <laughs> Why do I mess this up, dude? It's the second video in a row that I mess up what I say right at, from the get-go. Amazing. What's up everyone? Welcome back to Black Myth Wukong. I am Obix and today we are continuing on our adventure. But before that, do you know when you have one of those days that you haven't slept well in a couple of days and you really feel like, you know what? would be really good to have some booze and get my ass wrecked. Exactly, that's what's gonna happen today. We are gonna continue playing and I'm very, very keen on facing the tiger again. Because when I was watching the previous recordings while editing the episode, I feel like watching them made me learn a bit of, of his patterns better. I feel like I might be better at dodging his attacks, at understanding his timings. But that's not the only thing that I figured out. So. <clears throat> Before that, I took some quick notes that we're gonna go through. It's a quick thing, but some things, some thoughts that I wanted to share. Um, first, that NPC of the horse, I realized first when we faced him, he was talking about the Black Wind King, saying that he's full of shit, that he, the things that he proclaims that he can do are not true, that he has no power, whatever. And then we faced him and he was indeed a coward. Um, and then when we saw him again, he was tied up by the Reds. And it, this didn't click on my head, but when he was tied up, he was like, oh yeah, the Reds tied me when they found me. And they're saying that they are going to feed me to the king, but it's fine, I can fight it back. And only then I realized they were going to feed him to the tiger. So he was going to totally get obliterated from this world. So I do have to face the tiger and probably go back to him to continue his quest. Uh, but yeah, I didn't realize that he was actually in danger. He was actually going to be eaten by a really messed up guy. And speaking about the tiger, I also understood that for that statue that requires two masks, I need to face both the stone vanguard and the tiger vanguard. Because the two masks that I need or the items that I need are sternness of stone and keenness of tiger. So it makes total sense. The names of the bosses even have vanguard on both of them. So now I understand I have to face both of them to unlock that gate. Another thing that I noticed, when you lock on to strong NPCs, to strong foes, the lock-on is red, and I don't know if it's just uh, against those enemies that have um, a spirit, or if it's just stronger foes in general. I believe, I believe it's stronger foes in general, but I did notice that sometimes it turns red, so that's going to be something I'm going to pay more attention to. And lastly, there was an NPC that I spoke to that said some guy that turned into a stone inside a cave uh, used a spell to trap him in some plant stone thing. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it was related to the Mother of Stones, so I gotta go back and check if that NPC has anything else to tell me, or if it's some other guy that I didn't find. But yeah, that's everything that we got to discuss before starting this episode, and we're gonna continue exploring from here, and hopefully we meet a dead end and I'm forced to go back to the tiger because I really want to face that guy again. Don't forget your beverages, your booze, your wives, your cats, everything. Let's do this. Alright, so to go back to the Mother of Stones... Alright, let me just get down from here. Let me go back to the previous shrine and see if there's anything new with that NPC. Oh, it shows the NPCs here. Oh, this is cool. Oh, this really got me off guard. Okay, so it does tell me where every NPC is. The horse and the guy on the trap. That's really helpful. All right. Oh, what the hell? Oh, you're one of those creatures. What the hell? I was indeed confused. I tried to look everywhere, but I didn't see anything inside this structure. That's because it is the creature. What the hell, dude? <laughs> Oh, 
Man in stone. Alright, gave me the fucking treasure, dude. Oh. So he just seed again. What now? A spell! Alright. Transform into a rock. Why? Immune to all four banes. It builds up might when hit. Alright. It was super worth it to come back here. Alright, I was really warm so I had to tie my hair up. There's no way I'm gonna play with it out with it free. Alright, so coming back here was the right call. I'm really happy that I figured out the connection between the two things. Oh! Oh! I'll need a bit of time to re get restocked. Interesting, so this is an NPC that I'll come back to and get more things out of. Oh, I just realized, okay. So, I can only have one spell from each type active. There's three types of spells. There's Mysticism, Alteration, and transformations. And this spell that I just got is a new transformation. The thing is, I really like the other transformation because it deals fire. I can use this one, it's just raw damage, I guess. I guess I'll try it out. So now that we solved this, I guess I'll just keep going. <sighs> I'm getting really close to the tornado and it scares me. I'm really afraid that it is related to some enemy that I have to defeat. Oh. I tried to hit it, but it didn't work. gonna get screwed my dude oh I tried to dodge It did show the red aim, and he is glowing blue. This guy is gonna give me a spirit. I 
I wasted the spell. I tried to immobilize him. But he broke out. Fucking hell, dude. Alright, a little meditation before we continue on. Seems fair. I got a lot of sparks, holy shit. More mana, sure. I'm gonna slide down, ain't I? Oh my god, what is going on? Holy shit. Oh shit. I feel like I could fight these fuckers if I had drifted the right way. Fuck, maybe not. Alright, a new shrine. Oh. Huh. <laughs> a pluck of many blowing strains into the air creates duplicates to assist in combat. Oh, is this the spell that I tried out at the beginning of the game? Yeah, something that I also learned from the previous episode, I gotta pay more attention to the things that the guy says. I noticed that a lot of things, a lot of the, the lyrics that the guy sang actually were important for the lore of the story to just understand it a little bit more. And I didn't pay fully attention because I was trying to say something else. But yeah, this time he didn't say much. I also gotta try to talk more. I stay quiet for too long, I focus too much on the game, I forget that there's a camera on me. I gotta try to talk more. Oh, is it another mask? What the fuck? Another one? Required keenness of tiger. Oh, I just require one of the masks here. Or is it because I'm missing the keenness of tiger? Interesting, there's multiple statues. I thought there was just one. So there's multiple places to go. Yeah, I'm intrigued about this area that I s slid down through. I don't know if I can find some secret optional area while I'm sliding, if there's any place to jump to, something like that. Let me just go back, I'm gonna do the slide again. Yeah, and it's actually wild that I found a shrine there just to slide down and find another shrine. All the more reason for me to think that there's something in between here. And there is! I think... Yes, there is. Okay, I was right. It wouldn't make sense to have two shrines so close to each other. Otherwise. I'm so afraid of, of falling to the sand and sliding down. But yeah, I was totally correct. So I can explore... Kill the fuckers that were attacking me. Maybe there's something to find here. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Wait. Ah, oh, there's a treasure there. There is a chest. Thank <laughs> you. 
There must be something else. It can't be just that. Okay, maybe I can jump from here. I can't. Shit. Alright, I checked up my spark tree. And basically I unlocked some things related with perfect dodges. And also... I believe... Damage or something? Or stances? Dealing more damage with stances? Nothing major. Let's just explore this area then. Or is this the fragrant vine wine or fragrant something? Gorai da da oist. Gorad Gorai da oist. How the fuck do you spell this? What is this? This form is really slow. First try. What the fuck are you though? It looked like a human, but then he had it had that thing on the back. So weird. A new spirit, don't mind if I do. I really gotta try these new spirits. I feel like I've only used the wandering white so far. Trying to hit the plants doesn't do anything. Fall off this bridge or oh, shit. Where am I? Oh 
Oh, I can't... I can't get over the bridge. I don't fit. Here. It's gonna be an enemy. Alright. I think I got the hang of it. So if it's a plant, it will swing. If it's not a plant, it's gonna stay still. I guess there's gonna be a shrine here. It feels like it. Oh, there's a gate this way as well. Oh, is this the area that connects to the first prince? It is. It's the same gate. Got you. Alright, so there's no other shrine. It's the same one. Alright, let's check what boss is awaiting us. Because this is definitely a boss. Oh, this is not a boss. This is just a wall. <laughs> what the fuck? This is the other side of the shrine. I see. So there's a shortcut for kind of nothing. I mean, I guess you can actually come here without defeating the first prince. So you could actually go the other way around first, find the prince and then find the shrine. And it wouldn't feel like a shortcut then. So is this it? Did I hit the dead end that I was talking about? Is it time to face the tiger? Actually, if I do face the tiger now, What a guy. If I do face the tiger now, then it's exactly as I was saying. I came to this area first because I thought, okay, I'm not strong enough. There's definitely, or there's probably going to be something for me on the other side that is going to help me on the fight. And I got the spell that creates doubles. I got a spell that is definitely going to help me face him. It was the right call. I'm actually happy about it. Alright, so it is time to face the Meow Meow again. I am very excited about this. <laughs> it's something that I wanted to do, but at the same time I'm so afraid. I feel like I'm gonna get roasted. This didn't do much. <sighs> so it begins. I gotta defeat him today. This is the only... <laughs> this, is, this is the only thing I can do right now. I gotta defeat this fucker. Oh! I was healing. You legit heard the healing sound. <laughs> Fucking bastard. I tried to use the spell. Oh, and the armor is healing me. Alright. I, I was confused. Why was I getting health? Oh! I thought he was just steady on the same place. I feel like I gotta hold back more. I gotta let my armor heal me. I think it's gonna help. I delay too much on that last delay, on that last dodge. It's always the same shit. Oh! Fucking hell, dude. Dude. Ah! 
All right, everyone. I do think we made some progress. <laughs> it was a very frustrating death, but I learned some things. I do gotta hold back. I gotta take it slow. Give myself time to heal. Give some space in between me and the boss. And we'll get there. I'm very confident that I'm gonna do it today because that try was pretty good. If I beat him under 20 tries, I'll be pretty happy with myself. Oh! I didn't know this attack. I keep messing up the swipe. What the fuck? <laughs> I got the swipe. Ooh! I thought I was gonna dodge it in time, dude. That attack is so hard to predict. I do really well and, he, and then he's like, yeah, you wanna see something fun? And then he just kills me immediately. I'm gonna try to delay using the spells as much as possible. So that I don't waste my mana and I'm stuck doing just direct combat in the end. Fuck! I should have healed. Fucking hell, dude. Fuck! I gotta stop dropping my health so low. When he starts the martial arts uh, show off, it's when I get fucked. Those are the moves that I actually thought I learned to read the timing better when I was watching the recordings of the previous episode. <laughs> and it turns out they are the moves that ruin me the most. <laughs> Fucking hell, dude. Why did I get Will? <laughs> Why the fuck did I get Will in the middle of a boss fight? What the hell? Was it because of the corpses? Did something happen that I didn't realize? I feel like the other transformation did more damage. I should have changed it. Why are you so aggressive all of a sudden? Holy shit, dude. Calm down. Let me heal for a second. After all of this time, dude. After all this time. I legit fought him for like 10 minutes, I think. 5 or 10 minutes. This sucks. I feel like I want to delay using the mana and using all my spells so that it's easier in the end. But at the same time, I take so long to kill him. I feel like I should at least use some spells now at the beginning because if I manage to do the perfect dodges in a row, I might get some mana back and maybe use the spells again. Let me change the fucking transformation as well. Oh, what the hell? This is how the guy looked? Holy shit, what is this, dude? What? This is creepy as fuck. I didn't realize it was eyes on this thing. What the hell? This guy increases maximum mana. I think I want to use this transformation. Because it also increases my mana. I got an item that allows me to go back to the shrine. I didn't notice. I'm gonna switch some things around and I'll be back. So I did some tweaks on my attire, on my equipment. The main thing was around the wine. So I changed the gourd. Instead of having the other gourd that I got from the Deluxe Edition that gave me uh, full health on the initial sip, I changed to the other gourd because I upgraded it. Now I got five, uh, six sips instead of five. Although I don't have the buff of the initial sip taking, uh, giving more health, it's still more uh, heals, so it should be fine. I also changed the type of wine. Uh, I had equipped that wine that gave me 20% of health plus 25 over time, and I changed it back to the previous one, but I upgraded it. So now I get 40% of health instantaneously, instead of waiting for it to heal me over time. And I also changed the soak on the wine. I bought that item that the monkey merchant was selling, which uh, gives me a small heal over time. And yeah, I think it's way less risky this way. I also changed the transformation spell. I got the red tides back. Because I like it more than the stone guy. Oh. Alright, maybe on a full stomach, things will be different. Oh! Fuck, I didn't realize I was dying. Oh. 
I did so well. I took half of his health with just one or two heals. I did really well, and I don't know why I didn't read that attack. It was so obvious, but I thought he was just standing still for some fucking reason. I think I was too focused on my health or something. I don't even know anymore. What the fuck, dude? I did so well, I was getting on the flow. I was even attacking in between dodges, dude. I was doing so well. I was really proud of that attempt. My heart, dude. My heart is racing. <sighs> oh, shit. Oh, I saw the mana coming back, okay. I saw that heal, that, uh, that mana regain. Yeah! <laughs> 
I want to regain mana to summon the doubles. Can I do it? did it the fucking bastard is dead my dude <laughs> yes i am so happy dude Yes, dude, just jam it out. Oh, I got a new power. <laughs> For a second there, I thought that guy turned on me. Holy shit. <laughs> what the fuck? That would be a mad twist after a boss. Holy shit. Oh, dude, my heart. My heart is racing like a mother trucker. Holy shit. So I got the second mask. I can unlock the two gates or interact with the two statues or whatever. <sighs> that was a solid attempt. The fact that I only remember to to use the the potions to increase the damage reduction and the damage that I deal in the end. <laughs> but the thing is I was afraid of using them in the beginning and then just dying and wasting them. It was uh, the right call cuz I used them at the right attempt. Holy shit. Also, someone told me that apparently in the beginning when this game was launched, there was no blood here. Playing against this fucker without the blood would have been amazing. Because I could set him on fire. But I fucking killed it, this mother trucker, dude. Holy shit. I'm really happy that I managed to do this. <sighs> Is there another statue here? What the fuck? I am so confused. What is going on? What the fuck? What is this? Can I go here? Holy shit, what in the Chamber of Secrets is going on? What the fuck? I'm so bamboozled right now. This is not what I expected to happen when I interacted with the statue. I thought I had to interact maybe with the three and then open a door. Why? What? Let me just go to the shrine and rest. I don't want to risk entering a fight like this all right everyone uh so for now i didn't do much i explored a bit around the area i spoke to some npcs i fought some mini bosses and i fought the toughest boss that has showed up so far tomorrow i'll boot up the game again and we're gonna explore a bit more thank you guys so much for tuning into this episode and i'll catch you on the next one take care